Hi everyone, I am happy to welcome you all to the today's English class. And in the today's class, I am here with another story and this one is an inspirational one. The story what we are going to see today is an inspirational story and I hope you would get inspired by this story. The story we are going to see today is his first flight which is the next lesson in our English textbook. And the author of the story is Liam O'Flaherty. Liam was an Irish novelist and a short story writer. He has written many books and novels and he was famous for his writings. His works were completely based on the common people and from the common people's point of view. You know what? He also spent one year in the Irish army and he was wounded. That's why he got out from the army and started writing stories. I told you most of his stories were from the people, common people's point of view. He applied the same thing here but not the common people's point of view but a bird's point of view. How a bird would feel and react. We all would like to learn new things and after learning new things, we will be on cloud nine. We will be so much happy after learning it and we say it to all the neighbors. That's what we do and here the author has written how a bird learned to fly. That's what he has explained in this story. And the main character here is a bird I told you and the bird is a seagull. A seagull is a bird that lives near the sea and has short legs. Seagull has short legs but long wings. Though it has long wings, the little seagull was very afraid of flying. Let us see what frightened that little seagull. That little seagull was living with his family. It was living with his father, his mother, his two brothers and one little sister. Two brothers and one little sister. It was the family of the young seagull. Let's get inside the story. The young seagull was standing on the ledge. The ledge was facing south. It was standing on the ledge and was watching his family flying. His brothers as well as the little sister had learned to fly, but not our main character, the young seagull. The young seagull was a fraidy one. It was afraid of flying. You know what? One day it has gathered up all the courage and started running from one point to the edge of the ledge and tried to flap its wings but got afraid. He thought his wings would not support him and he would fall into the sea. Beneath the ledge there was the sea, a great expanse of sea. It was miles down from the ledge. That's why he got afraid a lot. He thought his wings would not support him and will make him drown into that sea. Then he bent his head down and ran inside the hole under the ledge and there he spent his night. Even his brothers and his little sister whose wings far shorter than our young seagull ran to the edge of the ledge and tried flap its wings and flew away from that place. But our young seagull was not able to fly. He was not able to gather up courage to take that jump out of the village. All of his family were flying and the young seagull was watching from the ledge. The father seagull and mother seagull came near him and started scolding the young seagull, shouting out loudly at him and said to him that he would starve to death if he failed to fly. These things happened 24 hours ago, yesterday. Since then, our young seagull didn't eat anything. You know what? Yesterday, the day before, 
the young seagull was watching his father for the seagull was training his brothers how to fly just above the sea level and how to catch the fish he perfected them in the art of flying you know what in that day the young seagull he had seen his older brother older brother catch his first herring and devour it herring is a small fish the young seagull saw him catching a fish and devour it devour which means eating quickly you know how a bird eat the food it tore the fish and started eating it quickly he saw that the young seagull saw his older brother eating a fish and that the seagull family circled around the older brother and made a proud cackle cackle is the sound they made a proud noise around him they were so happy for him and in this morning the seagull family they were walking on a plateau midway down the opposite cliff and from there they were mocking our young seagull they were mocking his cowardly behavior it was noon the blazing heat of the sun fell on that ledge the young seagull felt heat because he had not eaten anything since the previous evening since that day his mother and father never came near to him and had given nothing to eat so he was so hungry and felt heat he didn't know what to do so he went to the edge of the ledge and on the edge of the ledge he was standing in one leg and closing his other leg by his wing he closed one of his eyes and pretending that he was going to fall he thought his family would come to rescue if he accidentally fell from the edge so he was acting on the edge of the ledge standing in one leg closing the other leg with his wing and closing one of his eyes and was pretending he was falling asleep but you know what no one took notice of him his brothers and uh, his little sister were sleeping they were lying on the plateau dozing with their heads sunk into the necks and his father he was preening preening which means maintaining his father was maintaining his wings he was cleaning out the broken feathers and was maintaining his feathers and one person was looking at our young seagull that was the seagull's mother she was standing on a little high hump on the plateau and was looking at the young seagull and she tore at a piece of fish she tore at a piece of fish that lay at her feet and scraped each side of her beak on the rock she was sharpening her beak by scraping it on the rock she was persuading the young seagull she was inducing the young seagull the young seagull was hungry but the mother seagull was making him watch her eat the young seagull was watching that closely and what happened next we'll discuss that in the next class that's the end of today's class thank you for watching this video